This public awareness and sensitization, noting that more, more must be done to educate especially young people about the dangers of drug abuse and how it can ruin their futures. Other speakers at the event agreed the dialogue was timely and necessary. However, they expressed concern over the NDLEA Act, which imposes the death penalty for drug-related offences. The speakers called on all levels of government to strengthen existing laws, ensure strict enforcement and punish offenders, while also advocating for greater sensitization about the harmful effects of drug abuse and the need to reduce drug use in the society. We have actually carried out sensitization awareness. We have a radio program where we are talking about drug abuse um, and also people who use drug too. Yes, it's wanted to use drug. And that thing for people who are using drug, they will not be right off totally. So the society can actually absorb them back. What we have here today, we are talking about drug harm reduction. Drug harm reduction is actually a system which mitigates the negative impact of substance and drug abuse. By the time you are able to mitigate down, there are services, there are processes like what we call needle exchange therapy, the opioid substitution therapy. By the time this one, like if you have opioid substitution therapy, if you are substituting the drug with a lesser drug, so you are reducing the negative impact of that drug on that user. My take home is for us as a, a community to assist drug users, if possible, help them to go out of that, uh, go out of that uh, things they are doing. I think that is my take home today. And again, this uh, death penalty on drugs. I don't think it's a, a good idea. That the best is they should rehabilitate them and bring them back to society instead of uh, total capital punishment. Death penalty for drug is not ideal at all. It is discriminatory and it's a sign that Nigeria doesn't value their citizens. We have people that have commit more crime, more serious crime who are living free in Nigeria. For example, those people that have uh, bezel government money to the tune of over 100 billion. They live on this, they are free. They are even going with tetraj. Why would somebody who is pushed to using drugs because of frustration, because of unemployment, because of idleness, peer influence, or poverty, they are now to face death penalty. It is not fair. I want to appreciate this organizer for this wonderful stakeholders dialogue. I think uh, coming here was a blessing and I believe that this stakeholder of this magnitude should be heard at a regular interval to add value to the society and to also bring more way forward in addressing our social challenges. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.